Information received. Internet connection established. You have received a voicemail. SCP Foundation Trading Interface. Database access granted. Transmission incoming from agent number 132727. Prepare for your next mission. Mobile Task Force Kappa 42. Angel reporting in. Item SCP 2863. Object class Keter. Special Containment Procedures Due to the impermanent nature of SCP-2863 instances, long-term containment is functionally impossible. Should an instance of SCP-2863 be sighted in the field, Mobile Task Force Omicron-3 is to move in and neutralize the entity by the use of ultra-bright floodlights. Any civilians exposed to SCP-2863 are to be given Class A amnestics and released. Description SCP-2863 refers to a population of spectral entities resembling giant, approximately 30 meters tall, animated human skeletons that manifest within the borders of Japan. The exact number of SCP-2863 instances is not known, but at least 206 separate individuals have been catalogued. Instances of SCP-2863 will only appear after sunset, as they lose corporal form if exposed to light brighter than approximately 1.1 lux. The exact process by which this occurs is currently not understood. Disappearance in this manner is temporary, as instances have been sighted on nights following their neutralization. A possible side effect of this phenomenon is SCP-2863's inability to be photographed by any known means. Research into the nature and relationship between these phenomena is ongoing. It is not currently known whether or not SCP-2863 instances are sapient as their behavior consists solely on the capture and consumption of humans. SCP-2863 instances are capable of moving very quietly, though manifestations are commonly preceded by a faint sound most commonly described as rattling. Due to their silence, size, and proclivity for very dark areas, SCP-2863 can easily and quickly catch humans on foot. Once an instance of SCP-2863 has caught a human victim, it will bite off its victim's head and drain their blood into its mouth. The blood is apparently absorbed into SCP-2863's bone, despite the lack of any digestive mechanisms. SCP-2863 instances will become extremely hostile towards anyone who attempts to impede its feeding behavior. Due to an increasing urban development and foundation monitoring, no fatalities due to SCP-2863 instances have been recorded since 10-31-2008. Monitoring and control of SCP-2863 was formally carried out by IJAMEA until the agency's dissolution. Several IJAMEA agents were brought on to aid in the creation of the Foundation's control measures and continued their service as full Foundation employees. Currently, SCP-2863 is being successfully controlled by Mobile Task Force 03. The following is a translated transcript of the IJAMEA's entity summary for SCP-2863. The Gashidakuro are a race of malevolent yokai native to the whole of Imperial Japan. They will appear at night out of the darkness and seek the blood of men. Conventional weaponry is entirely useless against these, and they can only be banished by the morning sun or by the bright lights of human creation. Gashidakuro are created by mass death, by the concentrated suffering of hundreds. While the Gashidakuro will eventually fade, they remain for centuries after their creation lingering until their sorrow has diffused and faded. There is no way to hasten this process. The Imperial Japanese Anomalous Matters Examination Agency is currently aware of 203 separate Gashidakuro. Shinto Ritual may banish a Gashidakuro, but there is no way to destroy one permanently. Despite many failed attempts, no attempt at communication has been successful. And as such, the Gashidakuro have proven too hostile to be enlisted into the Yokai Battalion. The IJAMEA will continue its attempt to bring the Gashidakuro under Imperial control. However, the process has been slow and grueling, and many men have been lost. If Japan is to continue on its path, then the Gashidakuro must be reined in, lest their number grow too large and they become more than just a nuisance. The three additional instances of SCP-2863 catalog since the Foundation takeover of IJAMEA assets 
are listed as follows. SCP-2863-204 is believed to have appeared in January of 1938 near Nanjing, China. Instance is notably large, reaching an estimated 35 meters in height and is identified by severe damage to the pelvis, skull, and ribs. For unknown reasons, the IJAMEA had no known written record of SCP-2863-204, despite seven years of first-hand reports of sightings from the Chinese, and the instance was catalogued by the Foundation in 1946. Next, SCP-2863-205. 205 was first catalogued in 1954, several kilometers south of Fukuoka City, although unconfirmed reports in that area date back to 1946. Instance is identified by severe burning to the entirety of the skeleton. Instance emits low levels of gamma radiation. And lastly, SCP-2863-206 first appeared on March 15, 2011, approximately 40 meters offshore east of Tohoku, Japan. Instance is identified by a total lack of teeth and severe damage to the back of the skull. Instance was neutralized after approaching the city of Sendai and exposing itself to the light of the city. Instance has been sighted three times since initial sighting, each time appearing offshore. Alright, so I bet you guys were expecting a Christmas story, but instead you got some weird stuff from Japan. Yeah, that sounds about right. Stay safe, stay alert, and Merry Christmas!